Yes, I'm coming soon. Greetings. Lord God, Jesus Christ, bless us all. Today, we will study about the will of God. But before we start, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Archimasha Share, and please like and share. Now, question. What is the will of God according to Matthew chapter 7, verse 21? That says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Now, notice the phrase, He who does the will of my Father. Now, question. What is the will of God the Father? Answer. In Exodus chapter 20 verse 1 to 8, He gave His commandments or will. And these commandments take effect when the Lord God Jesus Christ come. That according to Galatians chapter 3 verse 19 that says, Until the seed, seed referred to God Jesus, to whom the promise referred had come, the law was put into effect. The verse says that only by the time the Lord God Jesus Christ come, it is the only time the law or the Ten Commandments was put into effect. Now, after the Lord God Jesus Christ shed His blood and died for the forgiveness of our sin, God want us to glorify and honor the Lord God Jesus Christ because He suffered death for us for the forgiveness of our sin. That according to Hebrew chapter 2 verse 9 that says, Now crowned with glory and honor because he suffered death. Now God gave his name to the Lord God Jesus Christ so that when we glorify the Lord God Jesus Christ, we no longer glorify the Lord God Jesus Christ but also God the Father, because they have only one name. That according to John 17 verse 11 that says, Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. So the verse says that the name God Jesus is the name of God the Father, and they are one in the name of God Jesus. That is why in Exodus chapter 20 verse 7, God command us not to misuse His name. That says, Do not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Now, in Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9, notice the phrase, Because He suffered death. We know that God Jesus' death is our rest in God's anger. So God Jesus' death is our Sabbath or rest in God's anger. That is why in Exodus chapter 20 verse 8, God command us to observe the Sabbath day or the rest in God's anger. That is the death of God Jesus. As the verse says, Remember to observe the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Now, in Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9, notice the phrase crowned with glory and honor. The verse says, God wants us to worship the Lord God Jesus Christ alone and only. That is why he gave his name to the Lord God Jesus Christ so that we will worship and pray to him alone and only. But believe in our heart that God the Father and God Jesus is one in the name God Jesus. That is why in Exodus chapter 20 verse 3 to 4, God command us to worship the Lord God Jesus Christ only and alone and do not make grieving image of the Lord God Jesus Christ. So, the Ten Commandments is not about God the Father, it's about God Jesus. God the Father gave us the Ten Commandments so that we will pray to God Jesus and worship Him. In my previous blog, I already discussed how the Ten Commandments is about God Jesus. 
So the Ten Commandments, which is the will of God, is about God Jesus. So for us to enter the kingdom of heaven, we must pray and worship to the Lord God Jesus Christ. As John 14.6 says, Lord God Jesus Christ is the only way. So not all who reach heaven will enter the kingdom of heaven. Because God will really said, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoer. So guys, let us now start praying and worshiping Lord God Jesus Christ alone and only. But believe in our heart that we are praying and worshiping God the Father and the Holy Spirit because they are one in the name of the Lord God Jesus Christ. So guys, let us start praying to the Lord God Jesus Christ alone and only and worship Him alone and only. Guys, read your Bible every day and pray every day. Lord God Jesus Christ bless us all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please like and share.